just to show it. We've got no IK binds. You come with the move it content and there's move it IK bind all. Just run editor utility. And it's got some instructions right here. Select a skeleton to update all associated skeletal meshes. Select a single mesh to update only that mesh. Uh, we put in the names of our bones. And by default, it has the Unreal Engine naming convention, which, is, which this character follows entirely, so it's fine. If you leave the IK suffix alone and you've got these bones, then you'll get the default Unreal Engine convention. So it says select only a skeleton or a skeletal mesh. It's because I've got uh, editor utility widget selected, which is obviously not supported. So I'm going to browse here. And there are a lot of meshes associated with this. But not all of them need IK bones, and there are skins. So I'm just going to do the player character. So add IK bones. So all it's doing is telling me to save the skeleton. If I open this up, you see these IK bones have now been added. But as you can see, it adds them all. But the only downside is now if I go to say the hand or the foot, these are all just at zero in world space. I don't know what you're doing. But I know that the base move it does not care where your IK bones are. It's going to move them at runtime to the correct location. If you need them in, a, in the correct locations the way Unreal has them set up, it is very easy for you to do it in a 3D application if you look up a tutorial or what have you. If you need that, then do it in a 3D application. If you just want your IK to be working with move it, then this is absolutely fine. Or you could just export this and then move them into position and re-import it. How you handle it is up to you. The main thing is that Move it gives you a tool that makes it really simple.